This is the 13th video in Chapter 4 of Google SketchUp for Dummies, and it outlines the copied profile method of making stairs. Okay, so unlike the subdivided rectangles method, which is relatively easy to understand but sort of uh, tedious and repetitive to execute, copied profile lets you make a set of stairs really quickly, um, and it's, it's a whole lot of fun too, and it, it's elegant and it's impressive, and it's only a little bit more complicated than the previous way, so I'd like you to try it, even if you're kind of a newbie. I guarantee you'll be pretty satisfied. What I've got here is a block that's, um, I don't know, however wide, but it's about 50 feet long. The important thing here is that it's 10 feet high, so I need a, a set of stairs that's going to go up 10 feet. Maybe I'm down here on the ground, and I want to be up here because it's some sort of an interesting platform or something. Let's actually put some incentive to go up there. I'm going to open the components and say, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm... Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll throw a helicopter up there. Okay, so what we've got is a helicopter on the roof, and I want to build a set of stairs that's going to get us up to that helicopter. So what I need to do is I'm just going to draw directly on the side of this face here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the line tool to draw one tread. Now, a tread is usually around a foot long. A tread is basically the step. So if you stick your foot on a step, here, let's just draw one. That'll be easier. Let's kind of come in here like this. Oops, I did it crooked. Let's go like that and like this. And I'm just going to push-pull these up to some height. Okay, let's get the terminology straight. This is a tread. This is the tread part, uh, the depth of a tread, so this dimension right here is usually somewhere between 10 inches and 12 inches, something like that. The height of a, a tread, called the riser right there, this is a riser, is um, usually in around, you know, 5 to 5 inches is a low one, maybe 8 inches is a high one. Uh, for this case, what we're going to do is we're going to do something with a 12 inch tread and a six inch riser, which is easy to do in your head, right? Because it goes up half as high as it goes long. All right, so let's just select all that and delete that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a riser on the side of this thing, just like this, watch. I'm gonna go up six inches, and then I'm gonna come over this way by 12 inches. There we go, okay. And I'm gonna hit escape to finish drawing. So what I've done is I've drawn two edges on the side of my face there, and it's exactly six, six inches high and 12 inches deep. Now I'm going to get the Select tool, and I'm going to select those two edges, just like that. To select both of them, I'm going to hold down Shift. So I'm going to click on one, hold down Shift, and click on another, and now I've got both of them selected at the same time. You'll see that they're blue, which means that they're both selected. Oop. We've got the rear end of the helicopter sticking up above the roof there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, once those are selected, and get the Move tool. And I'm going to, this is the important part, if I want to use Move as Copy, I'm going to hold down the Control key, actually I'm just going to click it, Control on the PC or Option on the Mac, until I see that plus sign next to my Move cursor. And then I'm going to click at the bottom of the tread, and then I'm going to move the bottom of, I'm sorry, I guess the bottom of the riser, and I'm going to move put the bottom of that riser, I made a copy now, at the end of the previous tread, if that makes any sense, just like that. So what I've done now is I've made a copy of these two edges right up here. And now here's the key. I'm going to type in, before I do anything else, the number of official, uh, additional treads, excuse me, that I want. And I'm going to type in, I don't know, 15, and then the letter X to tell SketchUp that I want more, and hit Enter. And you'll see that what I ended up with was a whole bunch more treads, but I didn't quite end up with enough treads to get me all the way to the top of the building, right? Which means I needed more. So let's type in something else. 18x mm, gets me almost there. It looks like I need one more. I'm going to type in 19x, and there we go. And actually, that makes perfect sense, right? Because if this was 10 feet high and I'm doing 6-inch, basically half-foot risers, it makes sense that I need 20 total steps to get me up to the top of that thing. But now that I've actually got um, exactly the right amount of risers, you'll see that these lines actually got thinner. So watch. Let's kind of repeat that whole operation. I'm going to go through and click, hit shift, click to select both of those. I'm going to go up to the Move tool and hit Control on the PC or Option on the Mac to start making copies instead of just moving things. 
I'm going to click here to pick up the end and then click there to drop it and then I'm going to type in 19x to make 19 copies going all the way up and now I've got edges that go all the way up and basically what that's done is it's split this face into two faces and as I push that over let's say eight feet I'll have a set of stairs almost magically which lets us go right up to the helicopter if you know if you're into helicopters I suppose um, but that's basically the copied profiles method for making a set of stairs in SketchUp and it's pretty simple let's just go back a whole bunch of steps and make a different kind of profile maybe the profile that we want to make is a little fancier and uh, let's address that okay so I'm gonna make a simple one let's go up six inches and over 12 inches but let's say that I actually wanted to put what's called a nosing on the front of the stair I'm gonna come out one inch and down one inch and then back over one inch just like that and let's use the eraser to erase out this part and um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that actually so let's kinda take the select tool instead of clicking and and having select held down every time I'm just gonna draw a box around those edges which selects them for me and then I'm gonna orbit around to make sure I didn't accidentally select anything else and I've got that nice profile so what I'll do now is I'll go up to the move tool I'm gonna hold down or actually just click on control on the PC or option on the Mac I'm gonna click at the bottom of the tread click here at the next tread type in the number that I need in this case we figured out that it was 19 one nine the letter X to say make copies and enter I'm gonna get 19 of them going all the way up and then I can just go up and get the push pull tool and push this out of the way and what I've got now is a whole lot more complicated stair so I've added some detail um, to all these stairs just by altering the profile that I was push pulling so pretty simple actually that's the end of the 13th video in Chapter 4 of Google SketchUp for Dummies, the copied profile method.